Hello everyone and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. My name is Stefan and in today's class we're learning how to make sauces once again. Now you all know the bechamel sauce aka the white sauce. Today we're learning how to make the derivative called the soubise sauce which is a white sauce with a puree of glazed onion. It's simple but still you need to know how to make it properly. So if you're here just to watch a recap on how to make that sauce or learn it from scratch, it is the perfect time. So keep watching, you get all the details coming up in a sec. Now welcome back. Now the soubi sauce, uh, if you want to learn that sauce, the first thing we need to know, of course, is a little bit of the history. So the soubi sauce has been invented by, uh, you know, a person, of, a Frenchman called the Maréchal de Soubi, of Prince of Soubi. He was a bit of a personality, lived under the reign of Louis XV in the 18th century. Uh, he was in as part of the army and he was a minister of the state. Uh, in France. He was kind of high rank. There was a time when gastronomy was at its peak and it was really a good thing or you were well seen if you could create recipes. And he actually created that sauce by mixing uh, some pureed caramelized, uh, sorry, glazed onion uh, and mixed them with a bechamel. A very simple onion sauce and when he had guests he was serving this with this piece of meat and everybody was like, oh, wow, the Maréchal can make really a good sauce. And it went through history and it's still here today even in the Escoffier book. So it's a classic a French sauce. Huh? So if somebody asks you, you need to know about these little details, a little bit of the history. Now for the sauce itself, derivative of the bechamel sauce, the white sauce is the base and when you add another product to it, it becomes a new sauce. Okay, so today we're going to make a classic bechamel, we're going to make our glazed onions, transform them into a puree and mix them both together, add some cream and voila, we're going to have the soubi sauce and we're going to be serving this with a piece of uh, you know, pan fried chicken or any white meat that you like, it doesn't matter, we just concentrate on the sauce. So let's see how to make this sauce, let's cook. Now as always let's start with the ingredients, huh? they all will be listed in the video description as a rough guide, this is what we're going to be using, of course the onion for the bechamel, we've got the flour, the butter, the milk, and here's a little bit of sugar and we've got some creme fraiche I'm going to be using. This is the important tool, we need a sieve and which is also like a drum sieve that we're going to be using to really uh, make that puree of onion. You can also use a stick blender. As soon as you got all the ingredients, of course, next is the mise en place. So you make sure you wet everything. I've got the precise measurement for the cream, the milk, the sugar, flour, butter, uh, my onion for the bechamel sauce. And I've minced my onions, uh, not too thin, not too thick. That's the type of size we're looking for. Once you've got your mise en place, you're ready to start the recipe. We're going to start with the onion in the Escoffier Guide. It is said that you need to blanch your onions before you do the recipe because that's going to remove the sharpness of the onion. So boiling water, I've minced my onions and I'm going to put them in the boiling water for two or three minutes. Okay, time is up. So if you want to leave the onions a little bit more, up to four or five minutes, they can handle this easily, up to five minutes maximum. Once they're done, I'm going to transfer this into a sieve, huh? pour this through a sieve and rinse them under cold water and put it back in a container. So let's do this and we'll continue with the recipe. My onions have been rinsed and they're here so you can see how they look like. Now it's time to warm up the milk for the bechamel. So pan, low heat, I'm going to pour all of my milk in, half a liter. In there, a nice pinch of rock salt, small bay leaf, and I've got half an onion with three cloves on it. Uh, you're going to gently bring this to a boil, gently on a low heat, and while this is happening, we're going to make the roux. And now let's make the roux. The roux is a thickening agent uh, in a clean pan, low heat, equal amount of butter and flour. This is the thickening base that we use to mix with milk that creates a white sauce. Uh, very important. So first you leave your butter to melt before putting the flour in. Okay, as soon as your butter is all melted, take all of the flour at once and you put everything with your butter. And you can reduce your heat and you mix everything well with a spatula, a wooden spoon, anything you want and you create that little kind of paste that you see here. And you put your heat on very low and you're going to cook this and keep it cooking for one or two minutes maximum. And then we're going to let it cool down. After two minutes, turn the heat off. You leave this in the pan and you're going to leave it to cool down on the side of your stove until your milk is ready. 
and now back to our milk. Now when it's already uh, hot enough, when it's about to boil, we're going to turn the heat off. I'm going to leave it to infuse eh, with the onion in the back for just about five minutes while we start the glazing of the onion. And now for the onions. So the onion in French, it is called étuvé les oignons au beurre. Uh, étuvé means to kind of cook the onions very very sw slowly like sweating the onions without coloration in butter so obviously to start with we're gonna have plenty of butter that we're gonna melt first uh, so you melt all the butter first in the pan so the first thing you may notice is that there's a lot of butter in the pan of course and because in French cooking uh, we use butter a lot but étuvé au beurre means really using a lot of butter to cook your ingredients. So we're going to bathe the onions in the butter on low heat and the goal here is to glaze uh, the onion. So there's a bit of water in the onion that's going to make a nice mix of butter, water which is always the base for caramelizing and glazing vegetables and what's missing of course is the sugar. So I've got some sugar in here. Uh, so Usually it's 20 grams, but I'm going to kind of be easy on the sugar. So I'm going to try to put like 10 to 15 grams max, mix well. And we're going to leave this basically to cook very gently. And that can take a good 15 minutes, by the way, uh, until they are what we call glazed. So that's going to transform into a soft, translucent type of onion, but not caramelized, not burned. And we want to keep that plain kind of whitish color. All right, so our onions uh, are glazing slowly on the side. We can go back now to the bechamel making. The roux is cold enough. I'm going to take uh, that sieve, super instant to get the sieve, honestly. Uh, and you take all the warm milk and you pour it over your roux. So that's going to filter all the bits in there, the onion, etc. So all the unwanted things back in the pan. And without putting the heat on, you first gonna start by whisking and detaching and diluting all of the roux, the cold roux, in the milk before we put the heat on. So make sure you spend a good minute uh, of detaching. You see at the bottom of the pan there, there's some bits there, so you detach it well. And then we're gonna put the heat on low and start to thicken the sauce. Okay, so my milk is here, I've cleaned my pan. I can now turn my heat on medium low, let's say. And as always with the bechamel, we're going to keep on stirring this until it thickens. Huh? So you stay in front of the pan and it goes pretty fast. Huh? And within two or three minutes, you will see it's going to start to thicken. So you can go up to medium for the heat to accelerate things, but we just need to be patient. So keep on whisking, and it's going to start thickening. Now after five minutes of so, as you can see, the sauce has really thickened. And if I take a spoon, and you can see it's it's quite thick it's really coating the spoon and we got a pretty nice and clean bechamel sauce huh? we want to keep the white color now the onions i'm using are actually uh, yellow onions the best is to use white onions because the key here for that sauce is to keep that kind of white theme huh? so white bechamel white onion it is a white sauce so when the sauce the bechamel starts to bubble away uh, basically from here you're gonna keep it uh, to boil let's say one or two minutes maximum and then we're going to turn the heat off and wait until our onions are done after 15 minutes my onions are done and what i'm going to do i'm going to put them in a sieve and let them drain and to remove that excess of fat before we add this to the bechamel sauce my bechamel sauce is here my onions are now drained you see there's not uh, much butter left and uh, what we're going to have to do once it's nicely drained we just put them in Take our whisk back, incorporate everything and put the heat back on very low. And very quickly, usually under less than a minute, it starts to boil again and it's still very thick. And so here you got two choices. We're going to be using again the sieve to pass the sauce through and press the onions out. And that's the Escoffier method, but apparently the modern version says that you can use a stick blender or put this into a blender to pulverize all of the onion before we add the cream into it. I'm going to use the old-fashioned technique and just show you how it goes. Now, this is the old-fashioned way or the way if you don't have a blender, and this is the way like Escoffier was doing it, you use a sieve like this, usually it's a drum sieve, but a modern sieve like I'm showing you here, 
and take the warm bechamel with the onions and we're going to force this through the sieve and transform these onions into a puree basically yeah? so it takes time but slowly we're going to do this and you see it goes under there and you have a clean sauce so we do this until everything is passed through well done now let's try this again i've tried the normal bechamel with nothing let's see with the passed onions through let's see how that goes wow <laughs> now this is totally different that has transformed you have the sweetness of these glazed onion totally throughout the side it's almost like a coulis of glazed onion mixed with a hint of bechamel and the oh so let's add a bit of cream that's going to be good and now for the final stretch we put the heat back on medium and it is said that from here we need to add uh, cream uh, Escoffier add butter and cream but the, the modern version so you can add up to 200 ml I'm gonna go with just one tablespoon at a time and see how we go so basically cream in and that is gonna be really to change the texture slightly in a more less thick kind of sauce uh, and we, we have to reduce it so we're gonna melt the cream in and I'll show you the result and tell you until how much we need to reduce it now two tablespoon or maybe three tablespoon of cream for me sweet spot honestly I've tasted that it really gives that silkiness that creaminess that transform uh, the bechamel you know bechamel tastes like a bechamel it's kind of nice and thick but just kind of a milky uh, you know thick sauce this with the, the the cream really add that kind of elegance to it so right amount and look at this this is already really nicely thickened as you can see there's a big coating power I'm just gonna leave it on very low heat reduce it for another two or three minutes then turn the heat off and we are done all done I did a bit of an escoff here and added a bit of butter <laughs> could not resist but basically the consistency of the sauce there's still some kind of grainy look on there so that's the sauce which is very thick and on a plate let me show you hopefully the um, camera is gonna focus enough on there as you can see, even if you had a little sauce on the plate like that, it will really stick to the plate and not fall. And that's what you want, you see? So that's the consistency we want. So last step, I'm going to cook a piece of meat and we're going to do plating. And now for the plating, so the simple uh, idea I've seen kind of uh, around being done, the modern way, instead of covering your, uh, your chicken with sauce, I'm going to try to basically do a bit of a style. No idea if it's going to work. But basically you take this sauce and you try to make like a band of sauce like this is going to go across your plate. Uh, so you get the idea. Not the best job here, but it doesn't matter. Just to get the idea. So you divide the plate in two uh, with the sauce. And on one side, I'm going to put a you know, piece of chicken got a little bit of uh, mushroom rice that I've got so let's say we're gonna put it on, on that side here so maybe a, a spoon of rice on here and try to get rid and just gonna keep it simple so I've seen that kind of online as the new ways of doing some plate this is just a small example uh, things can be done but yeah you just keep it very simple uh, you've got this and you can decorate with just like two little twigs or something like that um, for so I don't know if you can kind of see but roughly this is the idea of a chicken subis and the chicken uh, tights this is a tight from a farmhouse chicken with a nice layer of subis sauce which is absolutely delicious and the mushroom rice there we go and that's it we've reached the end of the class of today how to make the sauce soubise remember it's a derivative of the bechamel sauce based on onion it's an onion sauce huh? and always use fresh produce and if you want something that's got more onion in it you can do it by adding double the amount of onion this is actually what Escoffier has done as always if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, to see kind of behind the scenes stuff uh, you can hashtag French Cook Academy I've got a Facebook account you can also become a patron on my Patreon page and I would really appreciate if you join but that's it for me I'll see you all next time on my next cooking video I hope you have a good day take care bye bye